Hey guys, Dan I one here. Welcome back to Prison Architect episode 5 or 6. I think it might be 6 actually. Um, last episode we had a bit of a problem with these doors. I have uh, off camera fixed it because, well, it needed, it needed to be done. I think this still works, but it just looked really bizarre. Um, so what I want to do this episode is actually finish off first of all walling this off so that prisoners can't get over to uh over to the empty bit of uh, up here um and i want to have a look at my deployment as well um everything seems to be yeah everything seems to be okay that's good so what I want to do is actually figure out what rooms that we don't have. Uh, we could probably do with a morgue, maybe. But I'm going to leave it because hopefully we won't need it. But I can always put it on the back of the infirmary or something. Uh, we need a common room, which is what this building is going to be. So let's go ahead and do some brickwork over there. Um, so that will be the common room. We also need a cleaning cupboard, a library, we need a parole. Now I'm not sure where I'm going to put the parole. Um, that's a good point actually, I haven't thought about that. Um, that That's a really good point. Uh, I might put it up there, you know. Um, anyway, let's get this working, so that should hopefully uh, build a room, and then we can sort that into the common room. Uh, we need a chapel, I think all like the chapel, the library, everything else, well, I'm just going to shove up here uh, somewhere. So hopefully when this door gets put in, this will become a room and we can go ahead and set it as the common room. Go on, pop in. There we are. So that is now the common room. And what do we need? It just needs to be indoors. So let's just put a few objects in just to make it look a bit nice. Uh, let's have... Hmm. Let's have a couple of pool tables over there. And then over on this side we're going to have some sofas. Like that. And we're going to have... Uh, d d where are the... We'll have some phones down here as well actually. We'll have five phones. Um, I want the TV. There it is. And we'll put the TV... We'll put it there. So that's a nice little common room. I'm, I'd be quite happy with that. And I think we're going to put some... Um, yeah, there are some white benches in here. Now we're gonna, not going to put too many. Uh, I just want to put a couple in. So this is going to be like the little white lifting corner. And I think I should do it. Uh, I do want to dismantle these trees. Although they they do look quite nice. You know, we can we can always replant them if we so desire, I believe. Uh, there should be trees somewhere. Yeah, there. We need groundskeeping to be able to do that, though. But that's fine. So. Ooh, that's something that we need to do as well. Uh, you know what? I think I'm actually going to change that for a perimeter wall. Yeah. I'm not sure what the perimeter wall does, but it costs 200 per square, so I'm hoping it'll be worth it. Um, right. Uh, the common room needs power. That's fine. We can just... Yeah, we, we'll, we'll run the cable up like that. Okie doke. So hopefully that will get power. And we're also going to need a CCTV camera in here. Just so no one gets uh, gets any dodgy ideas. So that's the common room sorted. Um, in, you know what? Um, do we? We don't have groundskeeping, do we? No. Uh, we don't really have a lot of cash either. But I think I'm going to unlock groundskeeping. Uh, because we've got it for a job. And we'll get 5,000 off of it. So why not? Um, 
I also want to go ahead and do a couple more of these, but I don't think we can do them in, at the minute. Uh, what's this? Visitation room, three visitation tables, common room pool, at least two TVs, and at least five phone booths. So we can do that, and all we need to do is put another TV in here, which I'm not really sure where we're going to put it. Although, and no, you know what? The staff room doesn't have a TV, so we're going to put one. Mm, yeah, we're going to put a TV there. And we've just got our grant completed, which has given us a little extra cash, which is nice. Uh, medical ward, two doctors, and a physiologist, psychologist. Uh, nah. Uh, security sh sh chief, ten guards, patrols, and three guards to patrol. It's that we can do. So what do we need to do that? We just need two more guards. That's fine by me. Boom. And uh, got some more money. Um, and I think I'm going to go ahead and set up the short term investment now. Um, basically what it does, we pay 5000 I think. Yeah, we pay 5000 And then once it completes, we will get 16000 All we need to do is just wait, which is quite nice. Uh, I, oh, we've unlocked the gardener. So let's go to staff and let's get a gardener. And that's that grant completed. Uh Signed two dog handlers and armed guards. We're not anywhere near that at the moment. So I'm going to leave that. Um, we don't have a classroom. What's that? That's just assigning prisoners to work. Okay, so we should be good for now. So what we need to do is we need to fill this space up with this, with stuff, pretty much. Um, so what should we put up there? Oh, we also need to uh, connect that to that camera. There we go. Now we can see in the common room. So we've actually got 20 cells. And what I might do is bring some more prisoners in. Because it, it, it does seem a bit bare at the minute. And how's our power? Our power's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more prisoners. Uh, intake, I want medium and let's get 10 there we go we get a payment of 5,000 straight up and that'll, that'll be quite nice actually and what I think I'm also going to do is I'm going to build some more cells real quick so while I do this I'm just going to skip ahead because well you know you know how it's done right so we've put our cells in and we're just waiting for them to build everything and I accidentally put a wall here, which is kind of annoying because I need to assign the guard patrol, and I want it all the way down, but we can't, we can't, we can't put it there. So I need to uh, need to wait, otherwise it's going to really annoy me. And we can actually get 26 prisoners uh, now. Well, it should go up to 30 when these uh, these rooms have been put in, hopefully. But uh, it looks like one of our prisoners was actually let out. Uh, if we go into the prison grading, we can actually see how many prisoners have been released. And yep, we've uh, we've got one prisoner released. Uh, when we get 10, we will have our prison grading. And we can see how well we're doing. So that'll, that'll be nice to see. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it's going okay. Um, hopefully... <laughs> And that wall is finally gone. Perfect. So we can assign a guard to that. And that's uh, that's our cells done. Which is quite nice. So we've pretty much just made a common room and put a couple of extra cells in at the minute. Nothing too spectacular. Um, one thing that I do want to do is actually go ahead and because we put um, door controls on the cells, we didn't actually put them anywhere else. So I want to go ahead and get where is it uh, the door control, and I'm going to go ahead and put one there. Now I can't remember how often these can be used. Uh, I think it can open like two doors every second or something like that. So we should have enough, and we've just took another intake of prisoners. 
So we can now close on our prison. We have 19 out of 30. Uh, eventually I will fill it up to max, but it's just for safekeeping at the minute. And with these more prisoners, we may need to put some more stuff in. So let's go to objects and we will... You know what? We've actually got the money to do this. So I'm going to fill it all up. There we go. And we will... Oh, I, uh, I already put the pipes in. Perfect. Um... And I think we're going to put a couple more tables and chairs down. Uh, so there are the tables and the benches. Like so. There we go. And that's pretty much it at the minute. Well, that guard was uh, slacking a little bit. Well, I've got my eye on you. Might have to fire you. Um... <laughs> I, I I don't know. Um, yeah, as you can see, prisoners are getting a little bit stuck on these doors. So we are going to need uh, need our door control uh, up as soon as possible. So let's go ahead and run that across there. And I think we'll start putting some servos on these doors. Unfortunately, it is going to be a bit laggy, but there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. So let's just get this done real quick so that's all of that we don't really need one for security because the guards are the only one that should be going in there anyway um, we'll put one up there one over there and that I believe is the majority of them oh, there's that one I think that's all of them I believe that's all of them. So now we just need to wait for them to be built. And I think while we do that, um, I mean, this area looks kind of messy, um, like all the grass and everything. So what I'm thinking is I'm actually going to put some uh, some flooring down. So for the outside, just go with good old paving uh, paving slabs. And I'm, I'm probably not going to do it all. I probably don't have enough money, but I'm going to do most of it. And I always put gravel in the yard. Just, I don't know, it, it just feels right to, to have that. So let's go all the way down here. That's going to cost us... That's only a thousand. I thought it would have been more than that. that that's, that's perfectly acceptable. So there we go, and then we're going to need to put some more down there. And I'm just going to have the entire outside just be um, paving. It's just easier to do it that way. Uh, and before I forget, I do want to do underneath the doors as well. And that should be all of the flooring done. It should hopefully be, look quite nice. Uh, it should hopefully look better than it does at the minute. Um, so yeah, that's going to take a little while. And I think we've, we've got the money. Let's get some more workmen so they can, uh, they can do it a bit faster. So when all that gets done, that'll be nice. Um, I will prob uh, probably put stuff uh, flooring on the insides as well. But for now, we really don't have the money to do that. I shouldn't have really spent the money on that, but hey, whatever. So the other things that we need to do now are things like the library. Forestry would be quite nice. But that that I imagine that would require quite a big outside area. Um, hmm. See, so some of this stuff is locked, which I need to unlock prison labour, really. And it's only a thousand, so you know what? Let's do it. And I'm going to get the psych, uh, psych, psychologist. Yeah, that one. I can't. I, I can't word. Um, 
Contraband might be nice to get. It's only a thousand. Yeah, why not? And um, micro management. Um, unlocks food logistics. Duh, duh, duh. Laundry logistics. That's pretty cool, but we sh we should be okay for now. Uh, the prison's not too big that we need to worry about that too much. Although I did forget something that you should always put in, which is drains. Um, basically, that happens if you haven't got a drain at the door to stop the water. So yeah, you should be careful with that. But uh, our, our floor's actually looking quite nice. Uh, hopefully the gardener... Would it be the gardener or the janitor that cleans the outside? I would have thought it had been the janitors. Hmm. Well, how many have we got? We've got three. Get another one. Uh, that doesn't have power, so we're going to need to give that a little bit of power. There we go. Now, what is uh, any other door service? Uh, I'm really struggling with words today. Uh, we're going to have to run that along there. Hopefully, that'll power it. And um, once I've got those powered, I will go ahead and um, sort out the uh, the door control. Hopefully, one door control will be enough. Hopefully. I don't know. But uh, I'm quite happy with how this is going at the minute. Um, we've still got another two cell blocks that need to be built, but we don't need to worry too much. Uh, the thing I really want to get done is things like the workshop, um, the, what's it called, the cleaning cupboard, um, the laundry... They're the three main ones that I really want to get done. Uh, the workshop will give us extra money. The laundry will obviously give them clean laundry, which I imagine they're probably not too happy about at the minute. Um, and the cleaning cupboard, well, that will allow us to use uh, have janitors. And I'll probably put um, the janitor stuff up here and the laundry, just because I want that to stay inside the prisoner area. So... Why are you not powered? I thought I gave you power. It's got to be right there, by the looks of things. It's kind of awkward, but uh, oh well. So I think it's, uh, it's time to start setting the door servos up. So let's connect that to all these different servos with holding shift to be able to click multiples. And there we go. Now, is that one set to... Yeah, that's set to the other one. Let's uh, get on those, and that, and that, and I think that's all of them. I think that's all of them. Okay. So, now our prison um, needs to be manned by this. For most of it, some of it, like uh, the storage, I do want to keep the guard letting people in, just, just in case. Because uh, you never know. But I think it's it's looking quite good. Uh, I do I really do need to start doing something with that space, um, and I think I can now. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan this out. So the workshop. No, first of all, we're going to have the cleaning cupboard and the laundry. So the laundry has what does it have in it? Uh, laundry machine, baskets and ironing boards. Okay. So I believe the ironing boards are four across, like that. Or are they three? No, I think they're four. So we'll uh, we'll have the laundry this side. And that's going to be a brick wall. So we could have the machines. Let's say seven machines along the back. And then... Here we could have ironing boards and mm, yeah, I'll do another one that way. So that's those. And then we'll just put like a bunch of uh, a bunch of cleaning cart things, laundry carts, baskets there. And then we can wall that off, let's say there. Bring that across. That looks good. And then we can just have the cleaning cupboard, say, like that. The cleaning cupboard doesn't need to be big at all. 
Um, actually, no. Nah, let's do it like that. Yeah, I think that'll that'll look good. So let's go ahead and do that, and we shall unpause. Um, right, so that's going to require an entrance. Hopefully, we'll be able to put the entrance on this wall. Um, I've noticed sometimes it does it doesn't like doing it like that, but uh, it should be fine because I've I've put the uh, put the border across there. So we're just waiting for things to happen. And that's not powered, is it? That's fine, we can just do that. Oh, no, it is powered. What the hell? I, I don't know. I, I don't understand these things. So what are our workers actually doing? Uh, it doesn't seem like they're doing a whole lot. Oh, there's concrete floor. They're still doing that. Where are they doing that? What? Oh no, the concrete floor is this. So why aren't they doing it? What are these guys doing? They're not actually working. Uh, I'm not sure why they're not working. Oh. Yes, I do. I'm an idiot. Um, they can't get through. So, yeah, they're, they're obviously not going to work, are they? Bloody idiot. Um, right. Anyway. Now we've sorted that. I want to put a large jail door there. And I'm going to just have a, a, a normal, normal jail door there. And that should hopefully work out for the best. And I don't think that's going to turn into a brick wall. So we are going to have to uh, manually do that. But that's fine. So this is almost done, I believe. Yes, maybe. What are these guys doing? Seriously, I'm going to fire some of these guys if they're not if they're not careful. What are they doing? They don't seem to be doing a whole lot, unless it is the entrance thing. Um, yeah. So. This happens sometimes, don't know why, but you have to uh, go ahead and do something like that. It'll put the jail door in and this will count as a room. Really don't know why it does that, it, it just does. Um, even though I did actually set the board out. No I didn't. Okay, that was my mistake, I set the board up there, I should have gone down one and uh, it would have worked. Now we've got these walls here, but that's fine. We can demolish those. And we can actually go ahead and dismantle that. And we can put the wall there. And I'll let these guys in just so they can work. Dismantle the door. There we go. Um, right, so unfortunately... I think it's about wrapping up time, so next episode we're going to finish this off and we're going to hopefully start working up the top bit to get the workshop in, to get the, um, what, was the what else was it, the, maybe we'll do some forestry, uh, maybe put the forestry like over this area and put the workshop over here, um, but we need the library, we need pro hall, we need the chapel, I think the parole we could probably uh, do something like that and just have the parole there uh, that's that's more than big enough so I think we might do something like that but um, for now that's going to be it so I want to say thank you for watching and I shall see you next time